Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn trainer and coach. I want to use this opportunity to create this YouTube video to show you some quick tips and simple tricks that you can do use to do research on LinkedIn. Research on LinkedIn is important. Research is where you find resources that can help you, knowledge you can learn from, resource, uh, or you can find resources that you could hire or contract to help you with your business. Researching on LinkedIn is also a powerful tool for you to find companies you want to learn more about that you could potentially want to do business with, as well as ideas and knowledge and information that can help you grow your business and grow your practice. So research is important. So LinkedIn research starts right here in the search bar where I can search for people, jobs, company, and more. And the and more includes keywords. And if you look right here to the left, you'll see this little selection box that says search everything, but I can go straight to people, jobs, companies, groups, university posts, inbox. So if I guess, I just generally leave it for all until I really want to narrow it down. Show you a quick search I can do in LinkedIn. I always search for myself to see if I'm showing up. LinkedIn trainer Winston. And when I search for LinkedIn trainer Winston Salem, I'm the number one relevant result. If I say show all results, it'll show a bunch of other results as well. Mel Schlesinger, Cindy Briggs, some other people who are also trainers. So uh, these are just keywords. If I put quotes around this, which is a style of Boolean search, You'll see, um, again, I'm the only one, but if I say show all, you can see that there are is only one LinkedIn trainer in Winston-Salem. Yay for me. So again, keyword search, uh, put quotes around it if you want to be specific about the phrase, but a city or a state if you want to do region. So again, I can go a little further, clear this back out by hitting the blue IN. If I can go look for companies. So if I say I just want to find companies, and if I type in next level, just type in a few letters, all the different next level. But if I do partners, next level partners, there's the only, it's showing only companies right now for next level partners. If I hit this button here, it brings up the whole list, which is 1,379 because it's looking for next and level and partners. So if I put quotes around next level partners, you see it brings up three. Um, next Level Partners, one of my clients, uh, Next Level Partners, an accounting firm. And this came up because they had the phrase Next Level Partners in their about text. So, so doing search just by hitting, by typing in text and or hitting this button here is, is really powerful search. But within LinkedIn, there's one other thing. I can go to Advanced. I can, this is Advanced People Search. So I can, you know, go down here and say Current Company, Add a Current Company. Type in next level partners. There they are right there. And I can say, I want to find by location. And I can type in a location. Uh, lots of different filters I can do within advanced search. And I encourage you, if you're doing research on LinkedIn, to put in as many search criteria as you can to make your list as small and relevant as you possibly can. You'll get a lot more value using LinkedIn if you use all the filters that are relevant. So this additional way to search LinkedIn starts from within Google. What you have to do to be able to search LinkedIn specifically from Google is tell Google you're searching a site. If I do site, linkedin.com slash in that is telling google that i want to search linkedin.com slash in and now i can type in teddy burris and it finds teddy burris's profile I can type in kim williams and found finds kim williams profile i can type in quote linkedin trainer and put a region and it's going to find in the folder linkedin.com slash in the profiles that have LinkedIn trainer and Winston Salem in them and the first result back is mine. I can also search for a GoPro professional and it finds Carlos Casas 
who is uh, works at GoPro. He is a Go, GoPro professional. I can also look for, so let's say I want to search for Dennis Longo at Next Level Partners. And there he is there. This is Dennis Longo currently at Next Level Partners. So I can see it's clearly him. The rest of these are probably people who are associated with Dennis or connected to him or work with him, et cetera, et cetera. Bottom line is doing LinkedIn research does not have to happen in LinkedIn. If you learn to use the site search within Google, site colon, the name of the site, linkedin.com, and I even go to a folder slash in, and then I can use Boolean search where I put quotes around phrases that I want quotes around. I can put the word and, next level partners, and it's going to find all of them, 12 people who have the phrase Dennis Longo in their profile somewhere, maybe associated with them, and the company Next Level Partners. So again, LinkedIn search can happen on the home page of LinkedIn in the search bar. Use the search icon. Use advanced search, which I encourage you, if you use the advanced search, to to always use as many uh, filters as you can to get a most, the most uh, refined search you can get. LinkedIn research can also happen outside of LinkedIn in Google search by doing a site search, in this case, site colon linkedin.com slash in if I'm looking for people or slash company or slash company if I'm looking for companies. Again, in for people and company for companies. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn trainer and consultant. I hope this information about doing research in LinkedIn and through Google has been helpful.